Welcome to Sail Tales. My name is Gary. In this video I want to talk about the stability of our model sailboats and what happens to a boat design when we scale it down. Most of our boats are fitted with a fin keel and a ballast bulb on the bottom. Even if the bottom of your boat looks different than this, the same forces, the same concept applies to keep the boat right side up when it's sailing. When the boat's underway, it's easy to imagine the force of the wind pushing the sail down and the f force of the ballast bulb trying to keep the boat right side up. Kind of like these kids on the teeter-totter. Now that's kind of how it is when the boat's heeled way over like this. This is not good. We don't like to see our boats like this all the time. I like to pay attention to what we call the initial stability. That is the stability in the boat, that first little bit of heel. Of course the boat's got to heel some before the ballast bulb can have its effect. But these this early little bit of heel, say up to 20 degrees, maybe even up to 30 degrees, is dependent a whole lot on the shape of the boat's hull. So here's what's really going on. The wind, of course, blows across the water horizontally. While the gravity is at work to keep the boat right side up, and the gravity pulls vertical, straight down not just on the ballast bulb of the boat, it actually pulls on the whole boat, it's centered right on the boat's center of gravity. Here's a drawing to illustrate those forces at work. This is actually a scale drawing of my schooner Irene design. The red arrows indicate the elements that are trying to heel the boat over and the blue arrows indicate the uh, opposing elements that are trying to keep the boat right side up. Now let's describe the healing moment and the writing moment. The writing moment is the product of the length of the writing arm multiplied by the boat's displacement or weight. Notice that the writing arm is not very long. It's the shortest piece of the puzzle. The healing moment is the product of the length of the healing arm multiplied by the wind pressure on the sails. Now, you can estimate the wind pressure on the sails by using Martin's formula. The healing moment and the writing moment will always be equal. This is automatic. Here's how that happens. When the wind blows on the sails, it'll heel the boat over. As the boat heels over, the heeling moment actually becomes weaker, while at the same time, the riding moment gains strength. The boat will heel to the point where the heeling moment equals the riding moment. Automatic. When it comes to stability, there's a relationship between sail area and displacement, or weight, of the boat. I want you to hold that thought while we talk about what happens when you scale a design down. As an example, let's imagine we scale a boat design down to half size. So, doing that, we've got a boat that's half as long as it once was, half as wide, and half as tall. So far so good. Other aspects of the design come out a little differently. Let's look at sail area. Now sail area is just that, it's an area. And we measure it by multiplying the height times the width. Half times half is going to give us one quarter. So all of a sudden we've got a half-size boat with one quarter of the sail area that the original boat had. And let's go on to displacement. Now displacement is a volume. 
we express it as in terms of weight. What we're talking about is the weight of the water that's displaced by the volume of the part of the boat that's in the water. It actually is the same weight that the boat weighs. Thank you Archimedes for that one. Okay, being a volume, again, we're going to measure half the width by half the length by half the depth. Bingo! The answer comes out that we now have one-eighth the displacement of the original boat. So there we are. We've got a boat that's half as long, one-quarter the sail area, and one-eighth the displacement. That begs the question, will this work? The shorter answer is a cautious yes, but one must understand that the little boat is going to have a very different personality than her big sister. In fact, when the, when the wind is strong and the waves get big, little sister's going to be all done when big sister's just starting to have fun. I made up this chart so you can have a quick look and see what happens even if you scale the boat down just a little bit, say to three-quarter size. Notice that at three-quarter size the displacement comes out still quite a bit less than half of what the original boat was. If we look at her stability factors, we see that her healing forces have been reduced but her riding ability has been reduced even more. This tells us that in any given breeze, the scaled down boat will be healed over more than her big sister. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, only if you want to. And leave a comment down below if any of you might be able to tell me who Martin was.